Greetings, everyone, and welcome to Chronicles of a Nonprofit, episode 95. We are moving into 2023 just peacefully. It's peacefully growing through. So today I'm going to talk about that biblical term, let not your good be evilly spoken of. What does that mean? You know, for my entrepreneurs and for my leaders who are going through the life struggles and the challenges that are being faced just by trying to be one of the, you know, following the guidelines of being the chosen, being the one, the ones that God has initiated to do the things that we do for our families, for our business, we find that some people, no matter how hard we try, no matter how hard we try, they're going to have a sense of something to say about what we're doing. That's why we have to go on that path of right at all times and be ready to tell people the truth when the situation brings itself to our attention. When we know that the truth needs to be spoken, we need to speak it no matter how ill it sounds, no matter how sad it is, no matter how you know, hurt, the truth is going to be, the truth is going to heal. The truth will always heal, but it's not always good to hear the truth the way that we have to sometime portray what it is we're trying to say to these people to get them to understand. Because most of the time people will sit back and look at you and they will judge you because they don't know you. They don't know the journey. They think you're just uh, a rookie at this thing. And then they want to show out and be more than what they are to compete when you're not even trying to do that. So not letting your good be evilly spoken of to me as an entrepreneur means to hold that ethical principle within the vibration of what it is you're selling, what it is you're doing, what it is you're manifesting, what it is you're, you know, creating for your generational wealth. It's not always good to just hurry up to do it because that's what is going to get the bag. That's what's going to get the money. So I want to share with you some of these uh, quotes here. Now, I'm on TikTok and I do a few quotes on TikTok that represent what I what I mean when I do my podcast here on Chronicles of a Nonprofit. So those are my shorts and I want you to go over there if you have the time and just check it out on Dr. Darina Shine TV over on TikTok. But don't let anyone bring you down. Be yourself and ignore the negativity. And that's what we have to do when these people are evilly speaking about our good that we are doing because they can't do it or because they weren't invited to be a part of what it is we're doing. They want to go on the other side and talk about it. Some of them want to even bring that chaos to the center of the situation. They want to bring it to the face of the person. That's how bold these demonic forces are using our people today, but there is an awakening that has come to the planet that has shown us as entrepreneurs and leaders and just raising our children, even single parents raising their children today is showing us who we can discern to be good for our children, not good for our children. Not saying that we are, you know, this, this better than, no, but you set standards. You set standards in your household. You make sure that your values and principles match what it is you're talking, what it is you're selling and how you're doing it. Okay. That is a, an ethical practice that we need to progress through when we're moving in our entrepreneurial experiences. So these people can sit back and talk as negative as they want to talk, but the creative part about walking the path is people will tend to look at what this individual says, the, you know, the negative naysayer. They're going to look at what that negative naysayer has to say, and then they're going to sit back and start watching you. So now you got a critic looking at you. 
and it's up to you to make or break it. Okay. As an entrepreneur or, or a, a, a leader in your life, you have the potential to either bring this person to your side or allow this person to say, yep, you right. They are just like that. They are just like that. There are times where I have to be as honest as I can when I meet people, when I know that they're coming in. See, a lot of people will come in to devour your your um, structure before you even build it because they're watching everything you're doing. They're watching it all. So as you sit back and see them watching it, it starts. they start seeing the sunshine. They start seeing the gifts you possess. They start seeing the humility and the walk that you to walk and the talk that you talk. And they see you as an emperor or empress on your throne, sitting as the hierophant, sitting as the, the elevated one. And a lot of times people take that and they say, oh, them cups is overflowing. I want a piece of that. You know, one thing about advertisement, and this is what I've learned. In advertisement, you can take what is being done and you can boost it. And all of these people, will, you know, start responding to it. But I see and I like it. The people who watch me and look at me, whether they're doing it for whatever their reasons are, they don't do all that liking and all that commenting. But they're watching because I see the algorithm behind the page. So I see that I'm getting responses, but they're just not responding publicly. And what's so beautiful about that is that I must be on the right path that is not of the broad mentality. I'm that path where I'm hidden in plain sight. And that's what we have to be entrepreneurs to make sure that our good will not evilly be spoken of because individuals who have all this to say, and all that to say, if it's not good, then you got to question yourself. Why is this person saying what they're saying about this person? What is this person doing on a global scale, on a local scale, on a national scale that would be different from a person giving their opinion about an individual just because they weren't able to, you know, take off their masks and act a fool and this person called them on their mess you know people will promise things and that's why one of the very things that i have to say as an entrepreneur or as a person of a nonprofit, if you can't do your project on your own don't expect the people who promise you to be there to be there because they probably will not show up with the expectation to make you be looking for them so that then everything is in shambles, in chaos, in distraction, and everything, all hell broke loose. But here's what you do. You set your standards. You put your people in position. And don't put them in position the day of the event. No, you never put them in position the day of the event. If they can't show who they are and prove who they are prior to, and if they can't bring the, the uh, momentum of what it is that they do, then they're not as real as they say they are. And I know this to be true and self-evident because they, won't, they, they don't even show back up. So whether it's something negative, and then there are times where we just don't work with certain people. All money is not good money. I'd rather keep you over there and gain my peace of joy and tranquility and what I'm doing than to have someone come into my establishment and cause a division. I'd rather keep them over there doing what they do. But some people love to feed off the fuel of other people to gain aver free advertisement off of the backs of someone who is already doing that thing only to sit back and say, oh, they're doing this over there. Oh, they're doing driving traffic like they're the, um, you remember the GoDaddy <laughs> when you had a website back in the day, they would have uh, traffic that would come through and that traffic would initiate your website and they would pull information from certain um, 
like we call them hashtags. They will push push that through and then that individual will get that information. You know, that's how it used to be back in the day. Well, now you have to drive the traffic to your website instead of other people, you know, having these addresses that they could just use in order to drop information in just to give it, you know, that's called spoofing. It's spoofing. That's what they used to do before they streamlined the GoDaddy. That's what these people try to do when they come in and get free advertisement instead of putting them, themselves and putting in their work. They would rather feed off of the backs of another person because they're trying to do this event or that event or they see a community project. They would rather come in instead of helping that individual, they would rather take and provide services for other individuals to go do that, be there, go over there. And that's not what this thing is. You gain, I gain my people that I promote with all of my community events. But people love to fuel off of that because that's all they need is people. And a lot of times people don't even understand that the events are going on because everyone is so streamlined in their own perspective. And that's one of the reasons why I choose to do my leadership skills specifically the way I do it. If I'm not partnered with you, why am I promoting you? What is the purpose? If you're over there doing your job, doing your work, you're going to meet the same people I'm meeting because everyone has that level of, of need in a community. So why would you not have already met them or already know them or service them in a different way? Now, I'm not talking about the greedy people that come from one event to another event to another event. That's not how it should be. We should be servicing people that are in need. And every day, the need should be changing. We should not be having a streamline of the same individuals coming to every event that we do every single time. And it's that particular person we're servicing. No, because then that leaves a gap that is filled already at the center part of the program. And so those at the base are not being serviced. So a lot of times people will get angry and they will say, oh no, that cup is over full. She has the ace of cups. She has so much blessings and so many abundant things. I'm gonna go get whatever it is that I wanna get. But the high priestess is sitting on her throne like, wait a minute, no, we're not just servicing the people we know to make, to feel the need of our people. That's called nepotism. When we hire people and they're part of our family and that family member is getting paid from us. And as long as we keep it in the family, that's family wealth. That is not correct. That is unethical. That is unethically correct. You know, so, so yeah, these people are going to try to sabotage the way that we think and see things. They're going to try to make us feel bad about how we, we view things. And as we sit back and we look at our gifts that are given to us from the universal source, we got to sit back and say, who are we giving our, our love to? Who are we giving our hearts to? Who are we blessing in our community? Are we blessing people that's already blessed because that means you have not touched, not even the smallest of the individual in, in service of need. Not in any way, shape, or form, and that should not make a, an organization feel good at all. It's not about being a star in the physical realm. Who loves who better? How many likes you can get? How many comments you can get? It's not about that, and I've learned that. I've learned that, but I tell you what, in these rooms, in these areas, these same demons that show up during certain times, specifically certain times to drop off energy is what they're doing to transfer that demonic witchery that we do not even engage in. We don't engage in that. Mm -mm. Why? Hmm. Why should we engage in that? Let me tell you, <laughs> as an entrepreneur, if someone is coming in trying to steal your client base, why would you allow them to continue to be in the service of your everyday momentum? It just does not feel right. It doesn't look right. It doesn't look right. So being that star and being that person that everyone loves and, 
Everything is good. You know, sometimes the Queen of Cups got to sit by herself. Sometimes she got to sit back and she got to avoid everything, even all the way down to the people in her family. The Queen of Cups is, is, is all about looking at it, things from an emotional standpoint, but pull emotion up out of there when you realize that you've done the best that you can possibly do. So you got to remember, do not let anyone bring you down. Be yourself and ignore the negativity. Ignore the negativity and guess what? What you feed into will grow. So that's why it's very important. It is highly important for you to understand that feeding into that negativity is only going to keep them demons close enough to you to continue to power drive you to do what it is that they want to get what they want. As long as they get it, that's all they're caring about. That's it. That's it. Love yourself so much that when someone treats you wrong, you recognize it. See, I have gotten, let me tell you entrepreneurs, leaders, I have gotten so connected to discernment that based on a person's facial expressions, when they walk towards me, I can see what their purpose and their vision is. And that smile, oh, that smile is the easiest thing to detect. If you close your eyes and just hear the tone and watch the action, you gain so much. And this is how you can recognize when the witchery and the foolery and the buffuffery comes through to, 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 to tap in and maneuver what it is that they want to get from you. You will know it. And this is going down historically for the purpose of making sure that I remember what I told myself today. December 16th, 2023, and who I've met along the way during this time. See, don't forget, when you're constantly at work, you don't know what demonic situations and different conversations that is around your community, around your, your levels, especially if you don't even deal with these people. They just show up. They show up. And see, there's a certain group of people in which we service. So those are the people that we know is coming for what they're coming for. And they're just going to come to get their needs met, their services secured, and then they're going to be moving on on their way. Now, when I'm not doing anything, you know, as a local community um, advocate, I will be able to share certain things about people, but that person has to be vetted. I can't share anything, just anything, because my name, I do not want to be a part of everything. I just don't. I don't, and I don't feel I deserve the right to. I've worked too hard. I've done my pentacles on my, with my crew, with my group, with my individuals who were, are not even a part of this local community where people thrive off of the energy of sucking the blood out of the life of an, a, another person's business. I see it every day. I see it every day and I'm letting you know I recognize it. I am not the page of pentacles. I am not that young young in uh, entrepreneur I used to be. And one of the reasons why I am doing this podcast today, December 16th, 2023, you know who you are. I am doing this podcast for my entrepreneurs to let them know that the blood suckers are out and they're no more long they're no longer the individuals that's in a relationship with you. They're no longer the individuals that are your family members that always need something and you're the one that gives it to them. They're your entrepreneurs. They're your leaders. They're your uh, individuals that is coming to share information. You know what I'm saying? They're sharing information for the wrong reasons. There's conflict there. There's conflict there. And when there's conflict, there's chaos. And when there's chaos, nothing gets done. It's all negative. So don't let your good be evilly spoken in this community, in this world, in this space, in this time. Stop faking it to make it because it just don't look right. It just don't look right. You know, um, when you sit back and you say, I got everything. I got the world in the palm of my hand. Why should I fake? Why should I try to you know, sit back and think that it's only me. No, it's not only you. And entrepreneurs, I want you to understand that because these demonic forces will try to shut you down and make you prove that you're not good enough to do this. 
you're not you're not qualified to do this or that. And so they they want you to feel that you're alone. But when you start to realize that you have other people in your corner and this corner of individuals will help you. If you're under a foreclosure, somebody will come through and say, I got it. I'll pay it. I'll write it off at the end of the year. I got you. Huh? These people around here are not doing that. They're just sucking the ideas from a concept that they were not creative enough to even promote for themselves. Now, this is a rant specifically for me. For those who listen, Thank you. If you've listened to, to this this far and it's making sense to you, put a 100% in the chat because I know, I know that I am not the only one that this is happening to. It's like crabs in a bucket, whether you at the base getting on the bus, trying to get a bus pass, or whether you are the next person that got a pre-registration for whatever it is, a gift basket. Whether you win the raffle or the lottery, you are going to still be around a group of barrels in the bucket that's trying to gain off of that. And these narcissistic demons around thinking that they got some type of power, they have none. Because the Most High is showing all these demons up exactly before they even get there. They're going to give you the wind is going to blow different. The sky is going to turn gray. It's going to be a casty gray. When you realize that something is not of your good, you pay attention to what the weather is doing. You pay attention because the universe is speaking to us. It's speaking to us. And this message right here is for me. I'm letting it be known. This message right here of, of Chronicles of a non Nonprofit episode 95 is for me because I'm not going to allow anything in, in, in everybody to embrace my camp. It's just not going to happen. And you know that that's how you feel anyway. For those who are here, the silent listeners, I thank you for being here. You're awesome. You help this channel grow. And by just listening sometimes, that's all sometimes we need. You don't have to show who you are because nine times out of 10, if you do comment, those, those demonic forces, those witches riding on them brooms is going to pick that name up and call themselves trying to show out and go over there and try to pull that person to what they're doing only because they see that there's a generous opening. You know, I have people in my chat. That's why I have to go. When I do my podcast with my client base, I have to do it privately. And then I have to pull information away to make it make sense for a podcast. I shouldn't have to do that. I didn't have to do it back in 2006. Because no, not everyone was on, on the platform. People were more real. They were more genuinely looking for information, new things. Because they were done with the, you know, subconscious feeding of the mind that was going on with the media, with, with media. You know, like the action news, the, the action news, what they wanted us to see in their movies and different things like that. But now this has caught up. The pandemic has caught the electronic devices. Technology has been sped up. Now we have to decipher and determine who's a demon and who's a witch and who's a um, buckery, you know, who's the ops. And then we have to decide how we're going to handle them. But if we're discerning everything, that is not going to be a problem. Not, not at all. Life is too short to waste your time on people who don't respect, appreciate, and value you. Listen, just because you can't get your way with me, honey, having a hissy fit is not going to help you. It's going to actually cut the, the unbiblical cord <laughs> of our friendship. It's going to shut you completely out of my life. Never ever to come back because I will not be disrespected on a pathway that I know that you're just coming in on this path just to piss me off, just to get me riled up, just to get me distracted because you are selfish enough to want it all for you. Nah, I'd rather sit there and be at peace and just meditate because I know that somebody somewhere is going to look at this and say, okay, that's a good idea. That's a good perspective. 
that person is really helping those people in need. And I can't stand to see people faking it to say that they're helping people in need and they know, but then the need is never shown. It's never recognized. Not from other people on a level higher, no, but from the individuals that talk in the community. If you do your good deed, guess what? The word of mouth is going to get around. No matter who's talking about you, you're going you're gonna to hear who's talking about you because the good ones are going to come back and say, yo, I heard somebody say da 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 about you and all you've been to me is nothing but good because it's the way you come to me. The way you come, you come respectful, you get respect. That's just how it is. It's zero tolerance. Zero tolerance for bull crap, especially demonic forces trying to maneuver and manipulate to get something more than the next person. That's it. And that's what I want you to recognize, entrepreneurs, because this is the realest thing I ever spoke on Chronicles of a Nonprofit, the realest thing I ever spoke. And I put it down in history, December 16th, 2023. And this will stand the test of time. If you're hearing this and it's 2030, you, you're hearing this and this is 3023, it's always going to exist and it's going to be real and it's going to be sufficient for you to follow. I think of Andre 3000. Oh my God, how on point he was in his life. How on point. So that's what I want to get on and talk to you about. I want to just let you know, do not let your good, do not let these demons try to steal your joy, stop your shine, stop you from smiling. Keep rocking in the shoes you're walking in because these demons ain't got nothing on you. Their time is up. They, they have to take the masks off. Now they don't even care because you already know the mask is off. So they still coming. Like they still sleep. Like they don't see that you recognize who they are. Recognize them. Be familiar. You should already have recognized them with the, with the mask on. All the beautiful headrests around them because the eyes are the key to the soul. That's how you know who people are. And I want you to pay attention to that and keep walking in the shoes you're rocking in and wear them stilettos, you know, wear them Nikes, wear those Walmart specials, wear those Burlington specials. It don't matter just as long as you keep rocking in the shoes you're walking, being consistent, being ready, being on time and being good to yourself. Keep healing. And this is for all those who needed to hear this today. And as always, peace, and we'll see you next time.